I am Deanna from the Franklin County Library System coming to you today from the St. Thomas Library. Today I have two stories to read to you and the first one I am going to read is called All of Me, A Book of Thanks and it's by Molly Bang. Look at my fine feet. Thank you, feet, for holding me up when I stand and when I walk and when I jump. When I sit down, I sit on my good bottom. Thank goodness. What grand hands. Thank you, hands, for gripping and throwing and patting and holding and for hugging. Who doesn't like a hug? I like hugs. <clears throat> Thank you, arms, for hugging even more. And look at my knees and elbows. My knees and elbows bend whenever I ask. Now my hands and feet here. Up here, I feel my head. Thank you, my extraordinary head and all of your different parts. I smile and talk and sing with my mouth. My lips kiss mommy and daddy. My teeth bite crackers. My tongue licks ice cream. My mouth tastes all my food before it slides down here into my tummy. I see with my eyes. I see the night outside. Inside I see light and animals, a ball, a clock, a book, and the big hands. Whose big hands are those? Who do you think's hands are these? Yep, I think it's his mom's. I smell with my nose. So many different smells. And sometimes my nose rubs other noses. I listen with my ears. Outside, I hear cars rumbling. I hear people playing music. I hear honking and singing, barking and laughing. Inside, I hear purring. I hear a ticking clock. And in between... The noises I hear. What do you think he hears during, in between the noises? Yup, silence. It's nice to have silence sometimes. Now I feel my heartbeat. Thump, thump, thump. Thank you, heart, for pumping life all through my body. Thank you, my whole body. Today I did so many things. Today I felt so many feelings. I feel curious and excited. So what all did you do today? Did you have many feelings today also? Did you have happy feelings and sad feelings? Angry and brave and sad and scared and shy and happy and thankful and calm. Today I feel loving. Loving and perfectly safe. Yeah. 
And right now, I also know that I am part of this whole world, this universe. And this is my home. And I am alive. And this whole universe is inside. All of me. What a wonder. Okay, and now my second book that I have today is called Two Little Trains. And this is by Margaret Wise Brown. Two little trains went down the track. Two little trains went west. So we've got a train here and a train here. And they're heading to the west. Puff, puff, puff. Chug, chug, chug. Two little trains to the west. One little train was a steam line train. Puff, puff, puff to the west. This was the steam line train. And one little train was a little old train, chug, 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 going west. Look down, look down, that long steel track that goes, that long steel track to the west. Two little trains came to a hill, a mountainous hill, to the west. With a puff and a chug, they went right through under the hill to the west. Look through, look through that long dark hill. Puff, 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 that long dark hill to the west. Chug, chug, chug. Two little trains came to a river, came to a river going west. So you think they're going to go under the river or through the river? Or over the river? Puff, puff, puff. Chug, chug, chug. They went over the river and to the west. Look down, look down below the bridge at the deep dark river going west. The rain came down on the two little trains, the two little trains going west. And it made them darker and wet and shiny as they went on their way to the west. The snow came down and covered the ground and the two little trains going west. And they got all white and furry and still in a hurry. They puffed and they chugged to the west. The moon shone down on the gleaming track and the two little trains going west. And they hurried along and headed and heard the song of an old man singing in the west. Look down, look down that long steel track where you and I must go. That long steel track and strong crossed bars before we travel home. The wind it blew and the dust it flew around the two little trains going west. But the dust storm drew not a toot or a who or a whistle from the trains going west. Then the mountains came beyond the plain and the trains started climbing west. Up 
and around and over and through the great high mountains to the west. The ocean was big. The ocean was blue. Beyond the land in the west. What do we have coming here? That look like a whale? I think it does. And the little trains stopped. Their trip was through. They had come to the edge of the west. So they were my two stories for today. And um, I will come back and do another story time. And until then, be safe and I will see you then. Bye.